Jay Plays. Hello, everyone. My name is Jay, and this is Jay Plays, a Robcraft production. Here with the one and only Robicus himself. Yeah. And today we're going to be playing. Today we're going to be playing. Walk. Looks like an emulated PS1 style horror game. Like, uh, if those of you are familiar with Elisa, gonna be along those lines, but I, I don't know why there's a big pulsing heart on the screen. That's kind of gross. Uh, but let's see what this is about. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's start it up. Okay, so. Oh, this. This is really old school. This is. This is like Silent Hill 1. Okay. Guess we just go and figure this out. Guess that's the only way to go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but what the? I I don't. Know. Well, uh, all right. Why are your footsteps so heavy? You must be wearing heavy boots. Welcome to the museum, poor unfortunate soul. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Just let him talk. Oh, never mind. You can say this part. <laughs> Where we have exactly what you need. Haunted games birthed from the cursed minds of your world. Use yourself in them as they pierce your corneas into the back of your skull. What the fudge? You may never leave this place, so make the best of it. Oh, and uh, one more thing, like Uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures. <laughs> I'll insert. One more thing. No smoking in the museum and absolutely no dying in the museum. Don't go getting your corpse germs all over everything. Oh, well, what about the guy talking to us? Isn't he just a corpse? Yeah, so you already did. Bathroom. I think that's a loading screen. All right, nothing, nothing to see here. This is literally just a bathroom. All right. No potty breaks here. Please wait to... So do you want to go down the dark hall or the elevator? Let's, let's do the elevator. Let's see. First floor. Uh, Fane's Isle. Oh, so this is like a game where you play like different games, like period, that are like. Uh, oh. So it's this kind of reminds me of um, Gax. So which one do you want to play first, Lunar Effects, Ghastly Goodies, any of these fancy you at all? 
Whatever gets it over with quickly. Uh. Okay, something that's cute usually is bad. Let's do this. Traverse cause going to 3D platform level. And see what surprises awaits suddenly. Okay. Oh, good lord. Okay. Why are we collecting Carl Jr. stars? Mm -hmm. Maybe so that we can get a, uh, is it a big Buford that they have there? Or what? what is it they have there? <laughs> big and tasty? I don't, I don't know. I don't need meat anymore. And what is this? What what is going on? Launching game switching. Um, what just happened? Huh? PlayStation. I'm just playing. <laughs> One. And here it goes. Oh. Oh, what's Tori 3D? Okay. 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 So what are you thinking here, Jaron? Uh, it looks like we're playing Tori 3D. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, that that's odd. We can give it a shot. The music's kind of low-key going hard in the background, though. You yep. hear that? Do, 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 let's do, let's do, give it a shot. Yeah, let's give it a shot, do, 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 do. Let's enjoy the music for just a second. <laughs> Dang, all right, all right, all right. Okay, you can go now. You can go. All right. Ooh. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, this is gonna make me motion sick. What is going on? Ooh, he double jumps. How'd you know he was gonna double jump? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> and we're still collecting Carl Jr. stars. Excellent. You can double jump. Oh, well, no, no, no ish. Here's the light speed shoes to get through. Stop it. A great platforming. Oh, no. So that just means we, yeah. we have to really just be able to get past this. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. That's a checkpoint flag, it seems. I'll let you have it. Checkpoint. Check a police. That's what I say on my channel whenever you get a checkpoint. I should use the old sound from like that cruise and driving game. Checkpoint. Do you remember Crazy Taxi? I love Crazy Taxi. I still have a copy of my Dreamcast. That game was nuts, but it was mm -hmm. fun. I don't oh, yeah. see how this Classic. game is supposed to be scary. Right? Yeah, this is super... Unless you un find some hidden pathway that takes you into some creepy-ish. Oh, you know what? I think we missed something, but... I don't know if it's going to get mad about it. Yeah, it's like, how do we leave here and get back to the game we were originally playing? It's, like, it's a game full of games, but how do you beat the game itself? Because this is cute and all, but definitely not fitting a theme of Spooktober. Oh, whoops. Good juicy gravy. Cute little duck going through the air. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah. Does this remind you of like a Japanese uh, game or arcade? N no. No. Well, see, when I, the first time I went to a Japanese arcade, I got my butt whooped by some eight-year-old kid in a Gundam pod fighting simulator, and he uh, was very souped up with endless Walt stuff. And I'm just like, all right, well. Kind of reminds me. Didn't they have like a Gundam-like, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a fighting game where you play as like Gundams type thing, but it's like, it wasn't actually yep. Gundam, though. It was like something else. Yeah. I forgot what the no, game so was called. No, so in Japan, you get into... I know what you're talking about, but I haven't really seen that. But the Gundam pods, uh, you actually get into like what is basically like a cockpit. It closes and then you have a giant screen up and then you like actually Gundam battle your opponent. It's kind of got cool. like a little customization card. It really co it's really cool. There's a crack in reality over there. You see it? Yeah, let's... Should we jump into it? Uh, no. Oh, we can't turn around. Never mind. Oh! B rank. No, oh, it's probably because you have 92, not 95. Man. Oh. Um, Man, F y'all. I'm wondering if this game is really... Ah! It's supposed to be haunted or not. Oh, look at that! Now the creepiness is happening. Oh. You see that? Oh, yeah, that's a uh, that's adorable. It's actually ca oh, it's coming closer. So it's coming closer. Probably, bro, it's coming closer. You see it? And it's making noises. Good. Come get me. You don't want it to get you, do you? Yes. Okay. Why do you want it to come get you? To see what happens. That thing is really oh. following you, if you can see it. I'm not focused on that. Focus on getting the heck out of here. Well, there's another one. <laughs> And I got two coming after you. Come get me. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, there's another one coming, and you're slower now. It looks like. What? Yeah. Maybe that's just lag. Kind of reminds me of Toki Tori. Do you remember that game? Oh yeah. Oh, he can run. Oh well. It would have been nice to know earlier, right? She could just yep. full Sonic the Hedgehog. Da -da 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 -da. Check up, please. Oh. Here comes another one of those things. That one's like significantly closer to you than the last one was. Right? Your moves. Okay. You're almost to the end, Jaron. You're gonna make it, man. You're gonna make it. There's a. It's the there's rip a in reality. Turn. 
What is that? What, what is he doing? Yeah, what is what is this? Uh, death. It looked like. Oh, okay. The music stops. There's the goal. Oh, special features. Select a character. Oh, oh, whoa. Well, what the? We're not playing anymore. This is a uh, demo, it looks like. Yeah, I was like, okay. The game actually looks pretty hard. How do we get out hard. of here? I guess that's it for this one. We got the spook on it. You can get it for a dollar. It's on itch.io. Huh. I might actually go back and like get this game by itself. This game is <laughs> that's cool. What's it called? Torrent? That was that was something. Oh, that music is going. You hard. like this song? You go kind of ham. Yeah. It's like yo, but here we go now. Oh, freestyling it. His name is Tori. He's going walking. Oh, sh he's running away from something scary. I'm just playing. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh. Okay, so that was that episode. I'm beginning to think that this is just a scary version of game demos. <laughs> So maybe we'll do like five of these or something and then we can just be like, all right, guys, if you enjoyed it, just, you know, play it. So do you want to play Tima? Yeah. Lunar Effect? Ghastly Gooey? Ghastly. Goodies? You want to play that? Ghastly Goodies. Is that what you want or do you want to? Mm. Salt Order? The Salt Fiends Order? Isle. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. What do you think? Uh, well, let's do the lunar effect. Lunar effect. The lunar effect takes his protagonist on a dark and unfamiliar path. Waiting in a strange mansion, he must discover the fate of his inhabitants. Oh, no, no. You don't want to play it? Nah, that sounds like it's going to be a long endeavor. I think these are all demos, so if you wanted to play it, it'd probably only take a minute. Well. Alright, well, let's do it. Let's do it. I think this is something we could revisit next Spooktober, too. You know? We don't yeah. have to do the whole thing this year. Here we go! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Lunar Effect. I'm just playing, guys. Um, so, you want to try this Lunar Effect one? Huh. Yeah. So, I guess the idea behind this game is it's a haunted demo disc. It's like a PlayStation disc where you could have played... You remember the old ones you could put in and you could play demos? The disc itself is uh, haunted. But there's demo games in it. Does that make sense? Mr. Jerron. Yep. So we're going to do about five of these and then, uh, that'll be good. Oh, that looks pretty good. At least now we know why the disc was so big. Oh, my head. What happened? Where the hell am I? What is this place? Oh, this is definitely old school. Oh, no. Someone's desk. This all seems so old. Seems like there's a torn up diary entry here. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I can I read that. I can read it. Um... I beseech you, I run out of options, and I do not know how to go on. A man's home is meant to be their castle, but the subjects I am surrounded by are blind to the truths I hold. 
I fear they are but vessels of unrequited comfort. It plagues me and twists my every thought. Simply a taste of what I knew would quench my unyielding thirst. Please, what do I do? Okay. Um, Strange. You picked up a note and put it in your inventory. Okay. Is there anything else? You okay. And let us find an escape route. There's nothing but ash in the fireplace. Wait. There's a crumpled up drawing at the bottom. Emily Winterfield. Huh. Can you interact with everything here? Looks like it. Looks like there's a pencil in here. Might as well take it. Who knows when I will need it. You picked up the pencil and put it in your inventory. Get out of here. Okay. So you can't interact with that. Can you? Oh, it looks like. I don't recognize any of these. Their one seems to stand out. Look well beyond the clear marked way. Once off the path you roam, steps carry. You to land astray. Trudge on, you'll never see home. Okay. The door seems to be locked. Looks like there's a combination lock on the door of this grandfather clock. If I know the combination, I just might be able to unlock it. Oddly enough, I think I know what you're going to have to do. Hmm, still not it. Maybe I should take a look at that poem again. What poem? What poem did he look at? Um, is there like a inventory button? Okay, yep, yeah, there you go. So you have a pencil. Okay. Look at documents. Okay. Diary of Charles, drawing by Emily. A poem, okay. Okay, L O S T, I bet is what it is. Lost. Yeah, because everything started with a letter. The sound was that you? Mm -mm. It looked like someone taped a key to the pendulum of the clock. You picked up the bedroom key and put it into your inventory. Sorry, I'll do a different voice. It, they, yeah, all right. Okay, you want me to read this part? Finally, you return to the foot of your master, yes. as all humans do. Your fellow man bound you to service. Uh, the ticking clock, uh, cruel. I'm not saying that. You have submitted too willingly. I am not as cold as mortal men. I would show you mercy. I will shine a light that you may watch each grain of salt slip through your fingers. That you may know how few remain. Should you run out of sand, out of moments, you will know exquisite, inconceivable suffering. Few mortals can act with such pre prescience, uh, regard. Uh, this is a blessing I intended to be. Okay. Oh. Oh. Then darling, the witch is dead. No, you you're on a time limit now, dude. What? You see it? There's 30 minutes. The door seems to be locked. Well, the key doesn't work on the door? Can you not use it? What the? Use the bedroom. I use the bedroom key. Good job. I don't need this anymore. Throw away the bedroom key? Oh, they're resident eviling us. Yeah. You got 30 minutes to get out of this house. Nothing here but random knickknacks. But I can't believe I said knickknacks out loud. Okay, 
we only have, well, I mean, 30 minutes can't go by that fast, right? What do you say? Want to go around again? There's paper in the typewriter here with a paragraph that has some strange symbols. Maybe I can figure out what this means if I decipher it. It's no use. I just can't make sense of it. I must be missing something. Okay. Um, wait up. What if you use your pencil? Okay, well. Seems useless right now. Looks like some kind of occult book talking about secret languages and those who use them. Hmm. It looks as if there's a loose piece of paper with a chart on it. You pick the codex and guide. And you put it in your inventory. Okay, let's see. Let us use this codex guide. Maybe you can figure it out if you know what it means. Okay, I got it. So I think what you yep. need to do is go to your codex guide. Use it. Um, uh, doesn't look like something you can even really look at. Rotate it. Zoom in. Can you, like, combine these? Nope. Let's, let's look around some more. Whoever lived here last was clearly quite the reader. Okay, so, it's not you who lived here, then. Um, oh, how about you combine it? I guess not. It's nothing you can combine it with? Not yet. This person was one hell of a collector. Strange. This wardrobe looks brand new. I can't open it and there's no lock. Mm, impossible. I can't care anymore. Guess until you can figure out what to do, you're gonna have to just look for more clues, huh? Yep. I'm not Resident Evil style. It looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. No use. It won't budge. You already said that. Yep. What was that? What is what? This door? A random room? Yeah. No, I just heard a random noise in the background. What the? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard it too. This basin is lined with dust and grime. The taps don't even work. When was the last time it was used? A bathtub lined with grime. Disgusting. Oh, okay. Flying of Marisas. Titian. Yeesh reminds me never to challenge the gods.
This is like a whole mansion. It seems as if the stairs are busted. There's no way I'm going to risk jumping. It looks like I might collapse any minute. Guess I ought to find another way down there. This might be the game you play next year, bro, but the full version. Mm. It looks like a kid used to live here. Now what I expected out of a place like this. A pink kid's bed, by the looks of it. I hope they're okay. This little skeleton seems out of place. Skeleton? Probably some nearby mascot. Might as well take it with me. The strange doll. In your inventory. That's the guy from the front desk. Looks like the kid wanted a tea party. They even had seats to spare. Looks like a doll's house. That's odd. It's modeled after this house. Wait. It looks like there's something behind the little front door. Key part and put it in your inventory. A trunk filled with kids' books and toys. There's nothing but mist outside. Why would they have boarded up the kids' windows as well? Good question, bro. There is no escape. Rudy. This door seems to be locked. I wonder if... Empty drawers all the way to the bottom. Twenty-two minutes to get out of this building. Looks like this was this baby's play area. I hope those kids got out okay. There are some shapes on the wall behind this crib. Maybe if I tweak with this mobile, I can get them to match up. Okay. Oh, what? Um. Uh, okay, I see what they're saying. Oh. You make that go down. No idea. Okay. Take you to go this way, obviously. Oh, so it wasn't actually a... Uh... Oh, no. Huh, there's something written on the wall. Some strange symbols and letters, it appears. Well, let's see what it says. I need to get closer to get a better look if I want to write that down. D. 
these symbols, they looked as almost had written in embers. I should use a pencil to write this down. I'll note this on the codex I found. It might get me out of this wretched place. Okay, so it gave you some of them. Okay. What the f was that sound? Yeah, maybe we can go back. Time started going by faster. Right? Looks like this way is blocked off with a barricade. What worries me the most is why someone would want to do this. So you can use the codex on that door, right? Or not the door, but the one room we were in earlier. Yeah, way yeah, way back in the the master bedroom, I seen. What the is that? Blood. Was that the door we were in before, or was that not it? That wasn't it. But obviously, we should follow the blood trail. So follow the blood trail. Yeah. You know, every white person in a horror movie ever. Oh my god! It's haunted? Let's go there! Oh my god! A voice? Let's follow it! They're like, blah, blah, blah. What happened in here? <laughs> it looks like the window got smashed in it, though. There's glass everywhere. Someone wrote something on the floor with blood. It looks like there's more symbols and letters. I should use a pencil to note this on the page I found. Ah. What? Saying that you can't. Maybe you can't see it just yet. Oh. Yes, use a pencil. With this, I can finally finish the full codex. Aha! Okay. Now we can go back. Is it this door you were in before with the codex? Maybe this one? Mm -mm. What's in this room? There's a paper in the typewriter here with a paragraph that has some strange symbols. Maybe I can figure out what this means if I decipher it. If I'm going to write into this, I'm going to need to use a pencil. Okay. So, don't have to. Pencil time! From ancient something. Oh, oh what? How do we. Okay, so. There's a U sound, so that's P, so whatever it is, it starts P. It starts with a P, so. From ancient primordial soup they came, writhing through their unquested uh, starts with an L. Okay. L. So it's got to be life. Unquested life. Why? And this one starts with a weird symbol, an A, right? Mm-hmm. Advance. Okay. Since so this is from ancient primordial yeah. soup, they came writhing through their unrequested life. 
to advance for yet to attain so little only the blank will know so that starts with a G or a J well, there's only one with a G All right, looks like I forgot the passage now. Uh-oh. What is that? I guess we gotta check out that cabinet now. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, um, I don't think it's gonna be nothing though, bro. It's gonna be a jump scare watch. Wait, it's a key. Huh? Looks like it was empty after all. Oh. Empty, except this key, it seems. Servant's key. And you put it in your inventory. Okay. There was a locked door down the hallway. The music is just getting crazier. So that door right here? Mm. Mm -mm. It was a locked door. Yeah, because this is the bedroom. Is it this door? No use. That was that one just wouldn't budge. It looks like. Okay, so the lock's broken. The one won't budge. So it was the other way, I'm guessing. It was down this way. Yeah. Not the bloody door. Was was it you? Was it that one? This one? No. Okay, I think you found it, buddy. Right. I'll use the servant's key. I don't need this anymore. Threw it away. Seems like it just got some old clothes inside. I wonder what book they were reading. Hmm. Actually, on second thought, I don't care. An eerie picture of a hollow-eyed man. Something about this gives me the creeps. Whole place doesn't. There seems to be ripped out pages of a diary in this trunk. Might as well have a peek. Okay, I got this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know each stroke is like a permanent tattoo upon your being. I'm truly sorry. If I speak, they might hear, and I must mark you in order to feel your presence. I see your invisible hands at work. Yay! I continue to help guide your will and all that other stuff, And but my wife, she's worried and suspects things, and she keeps starting fights, man. You know how pigs are. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like before, but you can't say, uh, be a picky eater. Give me a sign. Creak and tap on a window. Thank you. Anyways, bye. Okay. <laughs> so this is the ramblings of a madman. The left looks like part of a key in here. Ooh. You got the other Let's part combine of the key. that key. Yeah, because you're running out of time, bro. Got it. Into a storage. Great, just what I need. More ticking clocks. This door seems to be locked. Let's try that storage key. It's one of those old dumb waiters. 
It doesn't have any power. There must be a way to get this working. Nothing but useless junk in these drawers. Is that you? Hmm. Hey, bro. I'll use a storage key. Yeah, we know. I don't need this anymore. We know, he threw it away. He always does that. Oh, look. There's a fuse box in this closet. If I mess about with the wires, I just might be able to get the power running. Oh, it's one of these. Oh. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do this, man. This is insane. Okay, so it's obvious that that has to be there, right? Mm-hmm. That has to be there. That has to be like that. That makes sense. I think the red one has to get to the red one, is what it is. And the blue one has to get to the blue one. Okay, well there's one. What about the red? Oh, okay. Dumb weight has I just had the dumb way to turn on in the other room. I said, check it out. The time just disappeared. And there was still 10 minutes oh. left. That tells me that it's almost over. What the hell is that? To be continued. Okay, cool. Um, Scully's wish was unfulfilled. I don't even know what Scully's wish was. I had him. Well, did he want me to put him in the the the, the dollhouse? I guess. Hmm. Anyways, you. Uh, no pencils were broken. That's good. So Lunar Effect is a game that you can play. I think that'll be your project for next year, uh, Jerron. That'll be fun, right? It could be. Cool. All right. Um, cool. It's on Steam, Steam too. That's where it's going to be. All right. So what do you say? One more demo or do you think that's it? No, we can do one more. Okay. Because that was good. And then next year we can do three more for people to see on the demo list. Even though I think all this stuff would have already been, uh, would have already came out already. But, I mean, the demo list is good because it, it helps you see games that have already come out that people might want to try out sometime. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so that was whatever that was. That was, um... Interesting. The lunar effect. Lunar effect. That was good. So this whole game is basically just demos that you can play of other games, um, but a haunted version of them. Some of them are already scary games. Some of them aren't, like the the bird game over there. But they added a scary twist to it. Um, how about ghastly goodies? That sounds good to me. You want to try that? Let's see what it's mm -hmm. about. It's Halloween. Oh, look at that. 
And that means candy. Play as Pete or Sarah and try to avoid the tricks as you gather some treats. If that is, if that doesn't scream Spooktober and the end of this specific video, I don't know what does. What do you think, Teron? Yeah. So Pete or Sarah, huh? Depends on if Sarah's cute or not. Fall down there. No, probably not that way. I think it's this head. Yep. Goodness. And all right, guys. So welcome to Ghastly Goodies, the last demo on the haunted PlayStation One demo disc that we're going to play this year for uh, Spooktober, and it's also Jay's last play for the month. All right. You ready, buddy? Let's do this. You want to play as Pizza or Sarah? Sarah! This looks like Nintendo 64. It said, we're late for the party. And just casually crash. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> you can trick or treat from here. What a bad parent there is this. Don't do anything stupid. You got well, a right. parent? Her parents must be black. Oh! <laughs> what is that? It's a costume. Free candy. Oh, that's not suspicious. What in the rug rats? Even if it's boarded. opened, it's boarded up. Yeah, my bad. You, you oh, read your character. You remember when video games look like this? Yeah. After that much candy, you're certainly on climbing over. Try getting rid of the chains instead. What's that over there? Whatever, where? That gleam in the building? That was Can't the go door. that way. A set of suspiciously similar rocks. Interesting. She's eating it as she goes. Mm. We're not a budget. There's three rocks. Beware, not all of them are real. one. How deep is this water? So I would say left and the right one. That makes the most sense since the center one wasn't right. So the last one should be the center, right? 
Center one. I was like, is the camera skills. Walking into abandoned houses, eating candy and crap. <laughs> right. <laughs> Groundskeeper now. Accidentally buried the bolt cutters. Okay. It says instead, who owns? You don't them? need them. Hope you don't need them. Oh, okay. Buried the bolt cutters. Where did he bury them? Oh, right there. Probably. Right there. There's a shovel. Are you gonna go grave dig digging digging? There lies Peggy, the craziest pigeon trainer on the west side of bird noises. Do you wanna dig this one up or not? Dig it up. Nothing? Nope. It says here lies Jeff, an extremely talented chef, died from food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Dig him up. That's funny. Here lies Freddy, the bed salesman? Sweet dreams, okay. Yeah, I know you're just gonna dig everybody up, aren't you? Yep. Here lies Sebastian, the artist who really shouldn't, should have given up on their dreams sooner. Savage. That is savage. Here lies Ta uh, Tomothy, the world's slowest mailman. Mine still hasn't arrived, by the way. You gonna get on that? Oh, wow. The guy's dead. Let him rest. Holy crap. Here lies Robert, the world's second best bike thief. I most certainly am not dead. Try harder for number <laughs> one next time. Okay. <laughs> There's something right there. A dirt covered, uh, uncovered a pair of bolt cutters, okay? Alright, okay. so we can go all the way back to that house now. Yeah, but now the music changed. Oh, there is something in the sky. And it does not look like it's what here to give me candy. Or to give Screw you candy. That. It does not look friendly, I'm just saying. Oh, oh, it's coming too. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 sheesh. It's pretty fast for what it is. Get away from me. The stupid one. He opened the box. At least you're like slightly faster than this monster. And when I say slightly, I mean like almost pathetically not close enough. Dude. This little girl is running for her life. Oh! A few minutes later. You gotta like Sonic the Hedgehog this. Right. I would say the Flash, but he'd be done by now. Mm-hmm. I know Sonic fans. Are I wonder who would win in a race. Um, well, according to the Screw Attack, Flash would beat Sonic. I kind of agree with them, but I don't want to cause the biggest argument ever in my comment section on YouTube, so I'm just gonna say I don't care. Man, chat, y'all vote. Who y'all think winning that race, Sonic or Flash? You know that Sonic has more fans and they're more fanatical and crazy, right? Yeah. I think you're just asking for it. Oh, gosh! 
Wow. Yeah, screw this candy. Let's get the heck out of here. Twenty-five. Just give it candy so you can leave. It says the window to the basement is open. Surely there's more candy inside. What's enter? Okay. It said what's the worst that can happen? Well, the best. They have uh, that one particular character from Family Guy that's in there. If you know, you know. I want. Uh, I just wanted to see if you wanted some popsicles, sir. I can't do the whistle. <laughs> Okay, well, at least the monster's not in here with us now. There is clearly blood there, though. Um, you gonna read it? Hard to tell what that substance is under the glow of the yellow light. Do you want to know what the substance is? That's Would blood. You... No, clear, I mean, very clearly. I mean, we know that, but... Door. Lock door doing what it does best, not opening until you unlock it. <laughs> I actually like this game so far. Hard to tell what that substance is under the glow of the purple light. Is that like a hint for us to do something that we don't know that we're supposed to be doing? We're gonna learn today. So this is probably green light, yeah? Press it. it. Said green button. Do you want to press it? And you just like you didn't even hesitate. Okay. No. Purple. I think you have to press it in a right, certain so order, buddy. There's probably something behind this uh, hatch in the shelf. Guess we'll never know what it is. Okay, so was it yellow, red, purple, or was it yellow? Green, yellow, green, then purple. Okay. That was in the right order. So it's definitely yellow first. Followed by, I'm going to guess, purple then. Yep. And then green? Nope. Yeah. No, that was right. There you go. Oh, there it is. This key might unlock something. Or maybe it doesn't. Now we can go back to that door. sounded like baby cakes uh, from that one uh, China, Illinois uh, uh, show. Right? He's like, baby cakes, baby cakes, baby cakes. Alright, so, are you gonna get got if you follow the monster in here? Who knows? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, snap! Dude, that was crazy. It, like, literally ate her head. Goodness. No!
Run, little white girl, run! Oh, snap. Oh, ish. It can go through walls, dude. Oh, it's over. There's gotta be a way to break this thing's ankles. Well, we could have read that, but you know, try not to die. Let's go back to that doorknob. Oh, snap. No! Well, the problem is, is it turned around instead of going on straight. I wonder what we do with this doorknob. Did we see a door at any point? That could have been used? Uh, not that I'm remembering correctly. I see like a whole area over there that doesn't look like Go that way. Ah. Woo. Well, oh well. Pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might play that next year. <laughs> nice. Cool. And that was Ghastly Goodies by some guy. We don't know who it was. Um, <laughs> some guy. Alright, no, this was actually a really, really cool one. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So I guess that's going to be it for uh, your last episode. Um, and we'll play the demo again next year. Um, that'll be cool. Yeah, that's for sure. Games. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead. You do you do do the, do the outro, man. Do the outro. You got the last right. one, man. Come on. Yeah, so this has been Jay with Jay Plays of Rockcraft Production for Spooktober. Hope you had a blast as much as we have this month. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>